I want to talk about common myths right now in today's market. We like to do myths. We actually have a full myth series that we do usually once or twice a year to give out to our friends and family. But reality of it is this. There's some common myths right now that we need to kind of address. And one of the biggest ones is student loan debts. And one of the biggest things is there are guidelines out there, Fannie, Freddie, FHA, on student loans and how they work. If they're deferred payments, not deferred payments, right? But a matter of fact, did you know 40% of first time buyers have student loan debt? It's a pretty big number, right? So don't think that just because you have student loan debt, you can't qualify because most first-time buyers have student loan debts. Let's talk about the second one here. Home prices were going to crash in 2023. As you can see from this graph and from the last you know, half a dozen videos that I've done, we have bought them out and they are starting to pick up more value and start to go back up. Now, we are in the fourth quarter right now when this is being released. It's right around Thanksgiving. So reality of it is, is that you know, you're going to see sales volume and sales price come down just a little bit, but that's seasonality. That has nothing to do with the market in general. It's just there's less buyers in the market, less housing in the market. People want to enjoy the holidays with their family and things along that nature. The third one that I want to talk about is you don't need 20% down payment, right? The reality of it is, is most people still think you need 20% down payment. The only thing 20% down payment does is a couple of things. One, it gives you a lower payment. It gives you usually a better interest rate and it gives you no mortgage insurance. But at the end of the day, the average first time buyer is putting between six and 7% down and payments and first time buyer programs are out there. FHA is three and a half percent down, conventional is 3% down and veterans VA loans are 0% down. So there's lots of options out there to get you in the home for way less than 20% down. As always, I'm bringing you the facts. I'm gonna bring you the data. You just gotta bring the decision.